puzzles. Okay, I'm going to minimize chat so that I don't get any help. Chat will be minimized while I'm doing the puzzle. Okay, white to move. Okay. So, an interesting idea, it, although it's probably too slow, is that if I somehow, I mean, I mean, there's, I mean, <laughs> there's some checkmate ideas. If I had a rook here and a rook here or here, that would be checkmate. Well, no, it wouldn't be. This would be. But I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of a pipe dream. Um, we have this check, which probably forces bishop d5. Because, well, no, I guess it doesn't actually. Sorry. He could actually go to king d4. Hmm. This is going to be a headache. The puzzles are getting so hard now. I wonder if I could sack my rook. Could I could I go check? And then if 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 he goes here, I, I take the bishop. And if he blocks with the bishop, I just take. But the idea is to take the bishop. And then I have pants. Right. Then I can go F six. Which you would think should be winning. So this is my logic that I want to take out his bishop. I want to sack the exchange and and then these my king and my rook can stop these and then I have I have the floating square as Debrezky calls it. In fact, actually, what if I, I mean, what about this check? The difference with this, though, is that I don't get the bishop. Although this also looks good. I guess he can, like, he comes in here. I don't know. Everything kind of seems good. But I don't like that he keeps the bishop. Like, I, I don't think he should allow, I don't think he should be allowed to keep the bishop. Because even if it, if he plays e3, then he's threatening, like, mate, you know. And I don't see anything specifically, but just the the idea of that. I mean, my instinct is to take his bishop, check. Again, he does whatever, and then take. And then, like, f3. If he pushes e3, I mean, it is scary. It, I mean, see, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure about it. Like e3, and then what? A like g5. Yeah, it's 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 tough to calculate because there's, there's so many so many lines, but that is my logic that I, I want to sack the exchange. I could also look at pushing, but I think that'll be too slow. Even just e three right away. Push again, check. Um, so, um, no, so, um, yeah, and then well, that's tough. That it seems like I'm almost doing this. Is this is complicated, man? B5, E3, B2. 
d2 check king v1 but yeah then maybe he can just play like rook rook a8 and if i queen then he has rook a1 check and then yeah that should be losing for me so that's why i i don't think i mean this is this is too fast you know i think yeah i think i have to go for i think i gotta sack the exchange the problem is that I don't have, I didn't actually calculate anything concretely, but it logically that's my plan. Check, check, and then, cause I mean, I'll have four pawns, right? And I should be able to stop these, I think. And if not, then I should be able to promote so I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with uh, rook takes c5. Yeah, and then I, then I take the bishop. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll double check it, but it's got it. I mean, this has to be the plan. Yeah, okay. Now the hard part. Now the hard part. That was the easy part. And we confirmed the strategy. Now we got to play on here. So... Potentially king king d two. Um, otherwise, e three could be lights out. Um, if I play king f two, that's interesting. On why that might not work, maybe he could play king c three, and then after. After well, then he could he could get a draw at least. Yeah, he could get at least a draw there. That's the problem with king f two. He just goes king c three. And then my rook doesn't have enough space. You know, go boom, 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 boom. So he could get at least a draw there, potentially more. So probably it's king d two, but then we also have to wonder. Um, like is is rook e eight probably not because then I just go to e three. Um, and then other moves like f three are interesting too. But okay, so let's say king d two. If he takes, well, he'll be outside of the square. We just go check and then we 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 promote. Um, if he goes rook h eight. Again, I just go to e3. And other moves we're probably winning too. So uh, yeah, I just think king d2, taking our time. And if he goes uh, king d4, then we uh, potentially we give a check. And that should be a winning end game. If he goes here, then I just take, and uh, that should be a winning pawn end game for us. If he plays something like uh, king g8, um, probably I can just play b6, or again, just king king e3 might be winning too, but that, that's a little, that would require more calculation. I think I'm going to go king d3 though. I think that's the, yeah, I think that's it's a logical safe move. Yeah, so he goes this way. And yeah, so I was thinking king e3. But again, I thought maybe b5 is also winning. So b5, I guess, doesn't work probably because of rook h2. And he could get a draw there because if I go king c1, he just checks me again. And then that would be a draw. So um, Or actually, if he goes to rook h2, sorry, if I play b6 and rook h2 and I go king c1, he could take, and then after I take, no, no, sorry, then after I take, then he can push, and he might queen before me, but I think he can get at least a draw there. I'm not, I'm not going to calculate it out, even though maybe I should. I mean, my instinct says king e3. King e3, and then I'm just covering everything. So... Yeah.
Okay, going to open up chat. Okay, I think that's a new personal best. Twenty nine thirty six. Let me let me double. Check. Not much in the chat. Yeah. So as a recap on this one. Um, yeah, I, I, I. Sorry, I didn't calculate anything really. It, this one I solved more by logic. Um, I can simplify the position and also reduce his threats by getting rid of his bishop. And I get a pawn for it too. So, um, you know, I trade this rook for these two pawns. And then I have, I've got four pawns against two. And I also have uh, my rook and my king in a very good defensive position. So, um, yeah, so this is how it went. And um, I can I can stop his pawns. I have a lot of shelter from his rook. And I've got a floating, excuse me, I've got a floating square as well. So, okay, that was, that was kind of enjoyable. Um, let's try another one. I'm going to minimize chat. First, let's see. Oh, hello, case money. Okay, I'm going to minimize chat. Do the next one. Okay, black to move. So white is threatening mate in one. Okay, so let's, let's just take a quick look at... Okay, first of all, actually, bishop b2. Let's look at that because he has to take. He has to take or it's mate. Um, so bishop takes b2, king takes b2. And then I guess we have to sack the rook if we want to continue. So rook takes c2. Okay, so bishop b2, king b2, rook c2. He has to take, so king takes c2. And then I could, I guess I could go rook f2 check. Rook f2. Okay, yeah, let me just do this without the arrow. This looks good though. Okay, so bishop b2, king b2, rook c2, and king c2 is all forced. <sighs> then we could go rook f2, or we could go rook c8. Rook c8 I don't think works because he has, he has knight c2. Oh wait, well, no, he doesn't. Okay, so let me just do it again. So, so bishop b2, king b2, rook c2, king c2. If I go, oh no, no, sorry, I can't, okay. I, rook c8 is out because he, queen takes. So therefore, rook f2, he can't go rook d2 because queen takes and that's mate in two. So after rook f2 check, what if he goes, no, those two pawns are gone, right? Boom, yeah, bishop b2, king b2, rook c2, king c2, those are gone. Yeah, then rook f2 check, so he can't go to the back. Oh, wait, what if he goes rook, what if he goes king c1? No, then I have mate on a1, okay, so after rook f2, he has to go to d3 is the only move. Okay, so that's all forced. Bishop b2, king b2, rook c2, king c2, rook f2, king d3 is forced. Um, I, have, I, only, <laughs> I don't have much pieces left though. I only have a queen and a rook. So after king d3, it's looking tight. How do I mate? King d3. 
Um, I guess queen b5 check. I don't think that's going to be enough. If he goes and then king e3. Well, king e3 would be almost mate. I would have then queen e2 check. And he would have to go king d4. This is deep. Um, but he's, sur he's surviving. Uh, and then. Oof. It seems like he slips out. Like, maybe this isn't the right way. But I still like this line, though. Bishop b2, king b2, rook c2, king c2, rook f2, king d3. Is that my only move? It's queen b5. I think it is. Yeah, so queen b5. Check. See, I, I don't know if I can mate him there. If I, if, if, if. Yeah, if he goes uh, king d4 for some reason, then I have queen c5 check. And if he goes, then he, well, he has to go to d3. Oh, but after king d3, it's not quite mate. Then I have queen c2 check. He goes back to d3. But then I have rook. I have rook d2, but then he can slip to king e3. Then I have, oh, I still don't have him. Then I have queen e3, but then he slips to f4. But then I might have him after finally, I might have rook f2. Oh, but then he still slips. So it's, yeah, he's slippery, but it seems like I could get him. Yeah, bishop e2, king b2, rook c2, king c2, rook f2, king d3, queen b5. Yeah, and um, yeah, king e3. I already looked at that. Uh, I was planning queen e2, and then he has to go queen e5, queen e4. So it's possible this line is wrong. So maybe let's look at some other stuff because it's at the end there. It's very fuzzy and it's it's a very deep line. It's like fifteen moves. Um, so let's look at other stuff. So just to be sure. So let's look, maybe let's look at rook c two right away. Maybe I can just go rook c two. Um, and he has to take. And then I go rook f2. Yeah, so let's look at this. Rook c2, king c2, rook f2. And if he... Yeah, he can't go to c2 because it's a mate on a1. He can't go to b1 because I have bishop b2 check and then after well i guess he could then go king b1 no then i have mate on a1 so he has to go up so if i go rook c2 king c2 so this line looks good too so if i go rook c2 king c2 and then rook f2 he has to go up he has to go king d3 and then Queen b5. Ooh, okay, sorry. So, so rook c2, king c2, rook f2. He has to go king d3. Yeah, and then I go queen b5 check. And he has one legal move. Yeah, he can only go to king e3. And then we got him. Then we have queen e2 mate. I think I found it. It's good I abandoned the other line. 
I almost went with the first line, but it got it got fuzzy near the end. It's a good thing I looked for something else. I think this I think this works. So rook c two. Yeah, king c two, then rook f two. He can't go to the back rank because I've already established that because of bishop b two check followed by mate. So he has to go king d three. Then I go queen b five. Then, then queen e three. Then queen e two mate. Yeah. That's it. I'm going to do it. Check. Yeah, check. Oh, okay, and, and he does go king b1. And yeah, I was just going to go check. Wait. Hang on. Put that rook away. Yeah. Yeah, here I was just going to go check and then mate. So, And then mate. Okay, opening up chat. That went well. Ah. Uh, Hello, DDDDPB. You're referring to that YouTube video. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy I abandoned that first line on this. So 2941, new personal best. Let me update the stream title. I love forcing puzzles. Like, because you can go quite deep in them. 2945 is the new goal. Okay, so I want to show you that. So the first line I was looking at, um, will it let me make them the moves here? No, I have to go to another window. So yeah, so the first line that I looked at was bishop b2. And it's a good thing I didn't go with this. Yeah, but I just sacked too much. So I was looking at this and this is, yeah, this is all fourth. I calculated all of this. But at the end of it, yeah, he, he just seemed to keep slipping away. It seemed very close to working though. But yeah, there's no there's no win here. No matter how you slice it, and there's so many variations to calculate. So yeah, I abandoned that just to see if there was anything else. But the previous calculation was still useful because I got to use some of the ideas. Um, yeah. Not bad. Pretty good day of chess, actually.